Your investment objectives should reflect your needs and desired outcome, as well as the risk you're willing and able to take to meet your goal. So here are four factors to consider when evaluating your risk tolerance level. Investments that have the potential for significant growth also come with a higher risk of significant losses. On the other hand, if your objective is preservation of capital or protecting the assets in your portfolio, you might choose investments that involve lower risk, but that also might not result in the growth or income you require. If you're looking at a long-term investment, for example, if you're in your 20s and planning for retirement, you can probably afford to take on more risks. You have decades to make up for losses your account might sustain. If your timeline is short, however, you likely don't want to risk your account value seeing a significant dis are you counting on this money to provide you with essential funds either now or in the future for example is this the main source of money for a home down payment or your child's college education or is this disposable income that won't really impact your lifestyle if you take losses when assessing whether this really is money you can truly afford to lose Consider your financial circumstances and needs. You probably have some ideas as to whether you're generally a cautious person or more of a risk taker. 